you might have found an article or paper that really interests you, so of course you'll want to check out that author's sources. At first glance, a reference list can be confusing, so we will have a closer look at them here. Reference styles vary. You may be using APA or MLA, but regardless of the style, all the elements you need to track them down will be there, whether they are for books, chapters, journal articles or websites. That's partly the point of providing a reference. Your tutor must be able to find them to check the sources that you used. Here is a reference list that shows the most common sources in APA style. Let's work our way through them. The most readily identifiable references are to websites. Here is one on our reference list. You can tell from the blue font, the dub 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 and the underlining. Two authors, Newbold and Cross, have written an article or paper called Domestic Violence and Pro-Arrest Policy, which is found on the Ministry of Social Development's website. 2008 is both the year it was published and when the researcher who used the source viewed it. If the date of publication is very old, it might still not be accessible. Unlike books, websites do change, but try anyway. We'll see later how you can track down a website if the hyperlink no longer works. The next two references on our list are quite brief, and this is a characteristic of a reference to a book. One lists a single author, Dury, the other doesn't give an author. The references then show dates of publication. The title is given and a subtitle. The social report also has a parallel Maori title. Then comes the place of publication and they finish with the name of the publisher. The researcher who quoted from these sources would have given the precise page numbers in the body of her work. Once you have located the book, you'll have to reread the article or paper to find which pages to turn to. Here is another reference that ends with a publisher, in this case the Institute of Public Policy at AUT. However, it is more complex than the two book references we have already looked at. It is a book, but it is the collected work of multiple authors, edited by Chile. The book's name is Community Development Practice in New Zealand, Exploring Good Practice. Our article's writer has quoted from the chapter by Bridgman, and so of course is given credit to the person whose words she used. Bridgman's chapter is called Community Development Approach to Deaf Mental Health Services and it starts at page 155. Our list contains two journal articles, one called Jailhouse Shock from the July 2008 North and South. These are the issue number and the page numbers. You might be familiar with this magazine. The second article is called Understanding Bullying from Research to Practice. It was published in the journal Canadian Psychology, but I don't have a copy of that to show you. The article's writer didn't have a paper copy either. She found the article on the ProQuest Social Science Journals database. She says so here. If she had used the paper version of the journal, the reference would have ended at the page numbers. So now you have seen how to decipher the reference list, we will see how you can track them down.